how are you? Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Saturday. I never really come on that much on Saturday, but um, I, I wanted to talk about this bot situation. Uh, bot, I call it the bot scandal, the bot scandal going on and how everyone's in an uproar behind the scenes. It's insane. But first, let me go ahead and pay the bills. Today's video is sponsored by Muck Pack. This episode is brought to you by Muck Pack. As you guys know, I'm always on the go and rarely ever have time to sit down and enjoy a healthy snack. But thanks to Monk Pack, my healthy snack options are endless. Monk Pack Keto Granola Bars and Nut and Seed Bars contain only one gram of sugar or less, two to three grams of net carbs, and each bar contains 150 calories or less. These bars are so delicious, they taste just like some of my favorite candy bars. Monk Pack bars come in delicious flavors like sea salt dark chocolate, coconut cocoa chip, and caramel sea salt, just to name a few. Also, these bars are not just for people eating keto. They are a perfect snack for anyone looking for a flavorful, great tasting snack with real ingredients and less sugar. The bars are gluten-free, plant-based, non-GMO, and are not sweetened with sugar alcohols. Monk Pack is so confident in their product. It is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like the product, you can exchange it or receive a refund, whichever you prefer. So go over to MonkPack.com and get 20% off any purchase by using the code Shirelle at checkout or simply click the link in the description down below to get 20% off. Okay. Uh, thank you, Perry and Devin. That was a nice little commercial. I like that. Perry does everything for me, guys, behind the scenes. So thank you, Perry. That was very nicely done. All right. Let's talk about the scandals. We don't care about commercials. We don't care how good they look. We want to talk about the scandals and what's going around and how everyone is scared. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes. Huh? Okay. 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 Sorry, guys. Perry cannot get to me if I don't have my phone in front of me. Uh, let me change up what he asked me to do. Hold on. Um, let's try this. Hold on, guys. So sorry. Let's see. And... Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay. All righty. There you go. I changed it. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So, uh, good good thing he caught me before I got to the scandal. The scandal is good. Uh, Sherelle, can you modify your filters, please? I just did it to 15 minutes. <laughs> I did it for, listen, I put my uh, filter on. No one can comment for five years because what I'm about to tell you guys, I only want to tell it to my true blue followers. And I don't want any haters coming in here or any, uh, blue, uh, what they, suits. I don't want any suits coming in and, and, or uh, talent coming in and trying to derail what I'm about to say. Okay. So uh, I did. <laughs> I've been here two and a half. <laughs> I don't want anyone to disrupt what I'm getting ready to say, because what I'm getting ready to say is good, really good. So, okay, so we all know that uh, Garcelle's son, Jax, who's very, very cute. I love Garcelle's children. I think she raised them very well. Got, uh, was a victim of bots. But I broke it down to you when it first happened. I told you, we don't call them bots behind the scene. It's called a troll farm. And what you can do is hire a company to go in someone's comment section and say bad things. After I said that, the whole story blew up. Because I don't think the networks caught on or bravo to what was really going on. So let me tell you this. So I'm going to have to break it down. Thank you guys about my banner. I would say about, oh, 
If you haven't already signed up for Perry's hotline, please don't forget to do so. The number is 1-702-553-3288. Thank you guys. Here we go. Now let's get into this scandal. It's a scandal. It's a scandal. And I'm thinking I was the one of the first people, if not the first, to ever say it. It's just something everybody knows behind the scenes. Except I don't think Bravo or the networks or even the producers was catching on what was going on. So all around about, this started a, a while ago, back when Donald Trump ran for president. And what he would do is he would hire these companies. They're called troll farms. They started out in Russia. And he would hire people, and I think this is a known fact, to go on Facebook, go on social media, and say negative things about his opponent. This is how dirty politics gets. Uh, and that's when it all started. Uh, they would say uh, negative things. I can't remember who he was running against. I know Obama one year and one year, another year was maybe, I can't remember who he was running. I met Romney one year. I can't remember. But anyway, he was the first, one of the first person to verbally start using these bots. OK, then he kind of trickled itself into Hollywood because somebody got smart one day and said. Well, first, they used to, they used to do this effort and they still kind of do this now. You would go to your favorite blogger. You would build some kind of relationship with your favorite blogger. And I'm talking about reality TV stars. And then you would feed them stories and then hope that they would say good things about you right after. And let me tell you how this trickled it into the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills franchise. Uh, one year, they all ganged up and they wanted to go after Lisa Vanderpump. You guys remember this year. Well, it backfired on them because the public turned on that group of women. I, I think it was Dorit. I think it was Teddy at the time. Lisa Renna. This could have been her idea. Erica Girardi was in on it. And Kyle. I don't think Kyle... Kyle knew about the bots, but anyway, they would all get together. And this was a way of keeping their jobs. Somebody got really smart and start hiring bots. Now the network feeds off of, and makes decisions on public opinion, right? So if I send a whole bunch of bots to Denise Richards chats or, or her, her social media, the, Network will think, well, we got to get rid of her because the public isn't really liking her. But really, that's not the public's opinion. Really, that's a self-made opinions by these bots. So they started out in Russia. Then they went to China. These are the good companies that run good bots. Indonesia started it, but theirs aren't so good. No offense. I'm just saying their bots. <sighs> They'll put things in the comment section that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> you know, like, or they put it in different languages and stuff like that. And so bloggers have been using blocks, not all bloggers, because I don't do it. It's a waste of money, if you ask me. But I have had it done to me where several high profile bloggers have hired people to come into my comment section and disrupt it. And they do it what in my comment section and when I'm live. That's why right now, if I put it on subscriber mode, I will block out the bots. They they'll they start putting all kinds of stuff in my comment section. They'll put in uh links to uh bad sites. You guys understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to get the <laughs> tag. Uh it just it, it wouldn't make sense. So um I was very familiar with bots. So when the whole thing broke out with Jax. I was one of the first people to say, that's a troll farm. Now they're calling it bots, but that's not what we call it behind the scenes. We call it uh, troll farms. And I think Lisa Renna and Erica have been doing this for years. Okay. We already know that they pick someone on the cast that they they're gonna uh make the bad guy this season and then they do it but i don't and i think the networks knew about that but it's okay whatever pushes the ratings but they didn't know they were trying to manipulate public opinion this is if you ask me i don't think they knew that they were going to manipulate public opinion so when i said they're bots the next day I said, it's a troll farm. The next day, everyone starts saying, no, those are bots. Those are bots. And I explained how it worked. I don't think that the networks knew that Lisa Renna and Erica in particular, this is my opinion, were using bots to manipulate public opinion. 
And this is how low some people will go. Even when bloggers do it, it's low and dirty. When when the president do, does it, it's low and dirty, in my opinion. Some people say that's just good business. I don't think that because then the public doesn't, the public's opinions truly don't get heard. It's manipulated by somebody in Russia. If you got a lot of money, Indonesia, if you don't have that much money. So that scandal broke. Now, everyone start distancing themselves. Let's start reading these letters, how the it wasn't me letter. <laughs> okay. First, Diana came out. This is what she said. She said, I've been accused of in instigating the hateful and inexcusable cyberbullying of Garcelle's son. Nothing could be further from the truth. I have stood for human rights my whole life. There is no place for hate in this world. To those people who have been attacking my family and threatening our lives, you are also spreading hate and creating fear. Please stop. Now, first of all, first of all, Diana's full of, full of it. No one's threatening her family. These are lies. She's playing the victim and deflecting and trying to make it seem like what she was doing to other people, in my opinion, was done to her. Girl, stop. Stop lying. You, There is no way that you are not for hateful behavior while you're study liking. So don't forget, every time you like a post, it shows up when you're a, a liking post when people are saying, Garcelle's just pulling the race card here. Okay, so someone said, start blocking people, Diana. I don't m mind these haters with agendas. Don't mind these haters with agenda. Garcelle is taking advantage of the time and knows what card she's playing. It's in color. They're accusing Garcelle of using the race card, which she did not, by the way. This is lies. Uh, and it's woke like fans. Wake. Fake woke at their benefit. It's a shame. And she hearts the comment. You're so full of it. Don't act like you're not racist. Don't act like you don't know what's going on with the bots and that you guys got caught. You and that no good Lisa Renna. Okay. Hold on. I got a super chat. Did they orchestrate this scheme in Hawaii? What scheme in Hawaii? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so there's Diana trying to distance herself. Here comes Erica Girardi. That has absolutely nothing to do with the scandal in front of the cameras. She posts. I did not hire bots to attack Jax and my offer to apologize to him in person still stands. That's the wrong one. But she was defending herself about that. She also came out in, in regards to the Garcelle situation saying that she didn't hire any bots. You are connecting yourself to the situation that we already suspected that you were totally up, um, involved in. And remember, I told you I got an anonymous tip from someone who said that, yeah, you got it right when you said uh, Diana and Lisa Renna are in cahoots, but don't forget about Erica. Do you guys remember that? And I said, I don't really do this on uh, camera, talk about leads that I got that I can't prove, but this was very interesting to me. And I said that, listen, Erica, you're tying yourself into the situation. And as far as I'm concerned, you're all behind the uh, bot scheme. I call it troll farms because it's been going on for years. People call it troll farms, not bots. But what a troll farm is, is does is they're hired to start a negative campaign against your opponent. Okay. Well, if you didn't think they hired bots by, if you want to believe them, believe them and say they are not hiring bots. Catherine Super Chat says, thank you so much, Sherelle, for your content. Oh, that's so sweet. I have learned so much from you and Perry. <laughs> You're so sweet. I had no idea that people did this to get clout. So disappointed. Oh, it's, it's been happening for years. It's been happening for years. But here, all of a sudden, here comes Patrick Summers, okay? The guy that said Lisa, hi Lisa Renna hired him to smear Kathy Hilton's uh, reputation. Here he comes, tying himself to the scene. Nobody mentioned... Erica Girardi, and nobody mentioned Patrick. Here he comes. 
the neighborhood talk posted this. What was the reason? Man, man comes forward as person responsible for negative and racist bots that commented under Garcelle Bovic. Garcelle's son, I don't know how to say Garcelle's last name, it's French, Paige, claims he will, he claims we hired to boost engagement. So here comes Patrick, all in the neighborhood chat's comment section, saying, I take responsibility for the negative comments, but our services go off of specific keywords my team inputs. I would never run my company or instruct others to employ racist remarks. I have personally never dealt with racism, but I truly send my condolences. First of all, your name was nowhere in this, Patrick. So you just came out and tied yourself to it, making us realize, oh, she hired Patrick's firm to do the dirty work. I don't know if you guys know this. No one ever hires a troll farm to say nice, positive comments in anyone's comment section. That would defeat the purpose. You only do it for negative comments. Patrick, I hate to out you, but you the one that uh, pulled yourself into this. Then if that wasn't good enough, here he goes again. Okay, Patrick, please. And let me tell you why Patrick's in a panic. Patrick is in a panic because according to the rumors, a lot of people have hired you to run a troll farm. I'm not going to hire you if I get associated or tied to you. So that could be the end of his business. Okay, so he has to distance himself. But what you should have did, Patrick, was lay low because nobody was mentioning you. No one was mentioning your name. Let them all duke it out on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let them all point the fingers at each other. And you just shut up. But you panic. You panic for a couple reasons. Because you don't want to be tied to this scandal. And so no one will work with you again. Okay? But I, I was not going to out you and tell you out it yourself. <laughs> like, God, you should have shut up. But then your name got tied into all of it. Okay. So here he goes again. Because at this point, he does not know how to shut up. He's in a panic. Uh, rumors out there that Kim Kardashian had used him at one time. And they she probably sent people over to uh, Jordan Wood's comment section. <laughs> But here goes Patrick. Patrick, you are losing it. Dear viewers, and this is very hard for me to read because I don't have glasses that you guys told me to get years ago. Okay. I would like to start off by sending up apologies to those affected by our engagement boost uh, to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcelle's son. I take our social media operations seriously as it's one of our leading services. However, we clearly missed the mark on this one. We are partnered with a third party. Remember, you're either going to go to Russia or you're going to go to China or you're going to go cheap and go to Indonesia. I don't have anything against Indonesia, but you guys troll farm suck. Okay. We are partnered with a third party offshore service provided for comments likes and followers and engagement. I can't speak on the direct nature of the services we are hired to provide, but I am working directly with our vendor to cancel our request. And racially motivated content, I take very seriously and will investigate. Thank you for your continued support. You don't have anyone's continued support, Patrick. You've made so many mistakes in the scandal. One is tying yourself to the scandal. All you had to do was shut up, okay? Nobody, no one knew who you were. We're not going to know who you are when your business closed down, in my opinion. <laughs> no one's going to hire you anymore. So another thing you did bad, you must have went to Indonesia and hired these people. Another reason that you make look bad you're talking about African Americans, and you might be associated with African Americans. This is a huge scandal. So we got the people involved in hiring the bots allegedly running scared. Everyone's dissing themselves. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. We think what happened to Garcelle is awful. It's so bad when you hire them. Okay. Second of all, the networks had no idea that. These housewives would stoop that low to go hire a third party to manipulate what the networks feel will be the public opinion. 
So they're sitting there going, you mean to tell me all this time that these low down itches, I didn't say the B word, I said itch, were low enough to hire people to manipulate what we think is the public opinion? Everyone's backing away. Networks is mad because what? You're that low? These women go low, okay? They go low. And so no one wants to be tied to this scandal. But I'm telling you, I have a strong feeling. Well, I got a tip that it was Lisa, Lisa, Erica, and that no good Diana, who's trying to act concerned and compassionate. You have a history of not liking black people. Girl, please shut up. You have a history of being a con artist. If I am a con artist, madam, that have managed to successfully still not have my reputation ruined from the alleged madam business and sex trafficking with children included, that's the rumors, I didn't make that up. You expect me to believe you had nothing to do with this scandal? Girl, get out of here with that, please. She is so, ooh, she's so horrible. And now she's playing victim. Now she's saying that people are after her, people are threatening her, people are misinterpreting her and wrongfully uh, claiming her to be a racist. And it's so bad that I have to have higher security. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Allegedly, she hired uh, 24 hours security. And it was done because of the uh, reunion. Well, hopefully you're not at the reunion. We heard the rumors that you are, you and Lisa Renner are going to get fired. Let me see if I could put that, if I still have that. Those are the rumors. And let's just hope that they stick to it. Because if you don't know how low Lisa Renner will go, bravo, you know it now. That her name is all tied in to these troll farms. And this isn't the first time that... Um, Patrick has came out to talk about the troll farms. He also came out earlier and said that Lisa Renner hired him to mess up Kathy Hilton's reputation. Now, he didn't mention the troll farms then. He wasn't as panicked then. He was just pissed off at Lisa Renner. But uh, she probably hired the troll farms to go in Kathy's comment section. She's terrible. She is absolutely terrible. Hold on. Let me bring up Perry. Another super chat. Bravo has allowed Lisa Renna and Erica Jane behavior to escalate to, and go unchallenged for ratings. And now Diana has joined in. Thank you. Watch. They will have security. They will have security by Monday. This is just a dramatic ploy. They don't need security. No one's going to physically harm Lisa Renna or Diana. Please. You're just embarrassed and you're trying to flip the narrative. Hi, Perry. Hey, everybody. Happy weekend, Sherelle. I don't mean to take too much of your time, but I want to dedicate this one song to Patrick, Erica, Lisa, and Dirty Diana. Diana. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. They're always Why lying. Them? You're right. Perfect Look, song. Is this, Look, they are lying. Can you Patrick put your got... uh, mic near your mouth? Oh, you can't hear me? Yeah. That's Patrick funny. is lying. It, he's lying. And because he caught up. Mm -hmm. And we know the other three tricks are lying. Okay. <laughs> oh Dirty Diana, she want to come out now. Dirty Diana. <laughs> that shit come up that you've been exposed for dogging out Garcelle. Now she needs security 24 7. Oh, look, stop fucking crying. Okay, Perry has new sound effects. Really, Perry? <laughs> yeah. No, Terrell, I'm telling you, this is so far out there. And what that super chat was telling you is Hawaii. Remember when Lisa, uh, Dirty Diana, and Erica went to Hawaii? Remember she got served when they came back? Is this when they orchestrated <laughs> this plan? <laughs> right? But, but the whole thing is just so much bullshit. Like, yeah, they he's... Yeah, you know, I really care about my company and we don't do no racial stuff. You know what? If you was paying an offshore company to do work for you, you would check on it to see 
about their performance. You didn't check, homeboy. Because that's what you told the ass to do. That's you know what, what she told him. He told them to put in racial comments because they asked you right. what kind of comments right. do you want in. Right. So he's trying to pretend like I went to Indonesia and they put in some comments that I knew nothing about. No, you went to Russia because Diana has a lot of money. You hired the, the best of the best and the Russian bots are the best and told them specifically what you wanted in there. Right. So, Patrick, you were not associated with this, but since you want to out yourself, let me go ahead and out the entire story. He just said he ran an operation, but I'm running it, but I really don't know because we hired third parties offshore, mm -hmm. Russia, China. And Gary, remember Indonesia. yesterday somebody sent you the list of, of Diana and, Air, and who was coming back and who's not returning, and I told yeah. you to send it to me? Did you yeah, send it, I sent to, it me? to you? I did. You did? Okay, I didn't lost it. All I know is, I'll put it this way. Uh, me and Perry both know that the names that are mentioned to not return to the show are Lisa Renna and Eric. I mean, Lisa Renna and uh, Diana for sure. But I don't have the list. I have and to then, get... And then the second one is that are getting demoted, it was... Um... Oh, that's right. Go yeah, ahead. demoted. Crystal uh -huh. and uh, the Froster. Who? I mean, the fake break in. What's her name? Okay, okay. So, this is the rumors, guys, that someone sent a tip to Perry. Uh, Diana and Lisa Renner are allegedly getting fired, and Dorit and who else? Crystal. And Crystal are supposed to be demoted. That right. would be great. They could show up, you know, great. on Thanksgiving and shit like that every once in a while. They just pop their ass up or something. <laughs> Catherine says, I love Perry sound effects. Catherine, please do not tell him this craziness. <laughs> oh. Uh, Can we keep going? No. Okay. <laughs> so look, why are the networks, why would the networks be so mad, Perry? Mad because they're exposed. I don't feel that they're mad because like, I think it's been going on for a couple of years now. Yeah. And they hire these people. And I think Lisa. But they don't know about, they didn't know about the troll farms. Well, come on. I, I think you? they do. Okay. They don't care because at the end of the day, oh. we ain't blaming Bravo for the troll farm. Yeah. We blaming the four idiots, Patrick, oh, Erica, and okay. so, wait. So, oh, they so they're care. they're mad because they got exposed. Yeah, they don't care as long as uh, the ratings stay up. Uh -huh. They don't care if they got a sacrificial uh, lamb there, that somebody they can just kick out to the curb. Yeah, that's why. Like Dorit ain't really had nothing. See, Dorit probably ain't really in the thing. She, she just. Adds herself to the. I don't numbers, think right? Dorit knows about the yeah. troll farms. I yeah. don't think uh, I don't think Dorit knows about the troll farms, and I don't think Kyle knows about the troll farms. Right. But, Just uh, those three. Right, right. And I think Lisa Renna figured this out a while back. In order to keep making a paycheck, mm -hmm. as long as we expose one person and gang up on that person, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. person won't come back. Mm -hmm. Right. So that secure them another year, and yeah. we know. Allegedly, you know, Lisa Renner would lick, lick balls for a nickel if necessary. Okay? And let me tell you how I think they're using the troll farm this year. They are using it for Garcelle and her sons and all that because they want the subject of the race car to come up so they could accuse Sutton now of being racist. And uh -huh. eventually they were going to full on attack Sutton full on and mm -hmm. call Sutton racist. So it will take the, the spotlight off of Diana. And I think they tried with the little Instagram post a couple months ago. Which Remember one? Remember some friend of her daughter's came out? Yes! They, listen, you I guys, think we that have was caught them in tip. the act yeah. this season. Mm -hmm. We've right. caught them in the act of trying to say that Sudden is racist. That was their next storyline. Mm -hmm. And they were dropping little seeds here and there, and they were all going to turn their back on Sudden and make her, what did you say, sacrificial lamb? Is that Man, how you yeah, say it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh my God. They need to get out of here with that. Cause Sutton is not racist. She's not. You know when you're dealing with the racist. You get that feeling. Right. She she's not racist. They rather Sutton go than one of them go. Yep. Just like and Eric they goes. have been caught red-handed. Well, anyway, now it's full on panic behind the scenes. Everybody is trying to distance themselves. But mm -hmm. Perry, in your opinion, why did Patrick feel the need to jump out there? And tie his name into this. That's okay. Okay. Look, if you pay me for a service, right? I'm doing it for you. As long as it's going good, you keep paying me. Everything's great. But when my service mess up, 
the people who paying you come and say, hey, man, look. You exposed us. So he's trying to correct it by saying that he owned the company and he promote only good stuff, not the racial stuff. And the only reason that's coming out because he employed offshore people, <laughs> i.e. <laughs> Indonesia, Russia, China, <laughs> Indonesia. And yeah. see, Indonesia, I ain't getting nothing against them neither, but they're, yeah, they I don't have anything. Like, be like, I, just, oh, I really truly love her so much, but I really hate her. So, I mean, there is a sort of whack. Yeah. But um, he had to come out and say something because that's what he's getting paid for. They don't want to get caught being the mouthpiece, right? So, yeah, yeah. and he's saying that he just promote the show. He ain't naming the individuals per se that mm -hmm. he's, you know, promoting. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's why it came out like that, I think. And they never thought that the audience, well, that bloggers would put two and two together, not bloggers, that I would put two and two together and just expose it. It's out there. You know, let me tell you something. Before, I've been doing this a while. There used to be a time where uh, they uh, the talent would be overly nice to you, slip you a story here and there, and right. expect you to totally say nice things about them. Mm -hmm. And then one day, me and you just got tired of that. We said we're going to say what we feel. Yeah. We don't give a damn who what they anybody thinks about it. If right. you want a better reputation, act better on the screen. Yep. And I don't know if you guys uh, uh, remember. I came out one day and said. I'm not trying to break stories first anymore. I don't give a damn because it backfires on you. You, They give you the scoop. You you put it out there. Everyone else picks up the story. And so what does it benefit to be first? But they expect you to only say nice things about them. Yeah. So we stopped that a long time. About a year ago, we were like, mm -mm, don't call me anymore for giving me any stories. I don't want to be first. I'll give my opinion when someone else breaks the story. And then right. I can say my honest opinion, which is if I want to say you're not a good person and you're an itch, that's what I'm going to say. Well, right. And me and you just got out that cycle of them trying to kiss up to bloggers. Yep. You've had, they kiss up to bloggers. They'll send you a gift yeah. out of the blue. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, and if you don't accept their hush money, that's what I'm going to call it. Then you're entitled to say what you think free and honestly, and you're not. And the audience would catch on. They'd be like, ever since you interviewed so-and-so, Sherelle, you've been saying nice things about them. <laughs> I know. don't do interviews anymore. I it don't happens. accept bribes anymore or get stories from the individual anymore. It happens. It's almost like when you get caught up into that cave, they try to romance you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it sort of go like yeah. this, like, yeah, you know, they'd come in and just do whatever, but oh my god. I I Gary, where do you no. get <laughs> I'm telling you, this is what they do. They they set you up for the groove, right? Make you feel special, right? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Hey, you know, yeah, you know, don't worry. Uh this is, I'm giving it to you first. <laughs> yeah, they would tell me yeah, that. But bitch, Gary, go ahead and get that out. Long. Look, I can't take it. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. I'm just, that's how they smooth you into the thing. They soothe you, right? Oh, you know, I'm coming to you because you're my favorite blogger. <laughs> like, what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> when At first, you know, when they first come in, you're like, okay, cool. I got this guest. They're coming in, right? I got this guest. And they will have you lose your channel, your followers, everything. They don't care about me or my channel. They lie they won't out there. Yeah. And then if you ever needed them for something, they know where to be found. Perry, one more time. How do the how do the talent uh kiss up to me? What do they do? I'm telling you. You don't, I don't even know if you can use that clip. No, no, Perry. you can. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. But uh, I'm telling you that they, 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 you know, turn oh, on the candles God. and shit for you and all of it. They just drop oh, it like Perry. it's hot. <laughs> Hi, Bonji. In all this, Sheree, Sheree or Sheree, I don't know which one you're trying, is a total disappointment by sliding, siding with Dirty Diana. Sheree, mm -hmm. I, I don't think Sheree understands what's going on. She's just trying to follow the popular group. Or, or she just a clout chaser. That's what I'm saying. She wants to be a part of that group. She right. wants she, to be a full-time housewife. She don't give a damn what they do. She just want to make some money. Like I said, people do strange things for change. You know what I'm saying? Harry, don't play that song again because I, oh, not, you got to get it clear. I'm not. 
That cracks me up. Uh, oops. <laughs> but no. That's why, Perry, this, this is why I went on subscriber mode only. Um, Siding with Dirty Diana, Big Lip Renna, and Pretend Broke <laughs> Ass, <laughs> Erica. Oh, my God. Bonji, I love you. This is for, no, 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 no. Not, Minty, you guys, please don't encourage Perry. Please. Because he, he could get us in trouble with whoever wrote that song. So don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Perry's a mess. That's another reason when um you came on board, things changed around here for the Sherelle's world company because Perry was like, I'm not going to cozy up, kiss anyone's ass or be nice to them. Cause they're nice to me. Uh, yeah. Sheree doesn't understand the assignment. She does not. She does the not. And she don't understand how to be a friend either to Garcelle. <laughs> yeah, check that shit at the door too. She really doesn't. All right. Uh, Let's go another five minutes and pull comments. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Hold on. Perry needs the... No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chat. Perry needs the Whitney Houston kiss my ass sound effect for being Bobby Brown. Y'all are crazy crazy oh my god oh my god all right let's start pulling comments oh my god i love the chat thank you Dwayne, for that super <laughs> chat and that great laugh okay this scandal is not a surprise where renna is concerned i mean it's not she's that tight she's a terrible person perry you used to like Lisa Renna, and you used to try to say nice things about her. Well, when did. did you go the, in the opposite well, direction I mean, and why? Only when she went gutter low. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to cause havoc among the paid housewife, because they're getting uh -huh. paid for this shit, right? To uh -huh. entertain us. Uh -huh. But when you take it to this racial level, mm. and then start to cry and over your mother's passing, and use that for an excuse, that's too low for me. If you I mean, Perry, when you, when you it, first came crying. on, Lisa Renna was one of your favorites, and you would be the only person saying nice things about her. Then one day right. you said, F that. She kept the show going. In. She kept the show going. Chat says, we want our housewives to be socially controversial. We don't want our housewives to be criminals or uh, criminal right. adjacent. You're right. I mean, the madam is too far for me, mm -hmm. and Lisa Renna is too far for me. When Lisa Renna was in the beginning okay and you might say a thing or two to upset someone but when you are trying to ruin somebody's reputation like you did lvp and like you did did denise richards and you threw your 20-year friendship with denise richards out the window <laughs> yeah i'm done with lisa renna sheree also be begging for money on social media she does <laughs> oh my god talking about uh sow your seeds a what is this a tie i don't know what that is with her cash app i can't believe it she shouldn't be broke and begging since she had a son with will smith listen i didn't know that she was begging on social media i know she got slacked this year for fake selling fake designer bags i know that but she must not listen trey isn't 18 anymore so maybe those will smith checks stopped rolling in and maybe she does need money i mean do you guys remember she also she had another marriage after Will Smith to some preacher guy, and he wanted to move to San Diego and start a nice life. Cherie couldn't leave L.A. in the fame, so maybe uh, Cherie is suspect. I don't know. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. That was good to know. It sounds uh, like she's suspect, got one, huh? It sounds like she's suspect to me. It, it, yeah, Cherie is suspect. Let's get it on. Oh, come on, Perry. Love the sound. You guys stop encouraging Perry. We could get in trouble for that. No, it, no. Is, uh, is it cleared? Yeah, it's cleared. Okay, it's cleared. Okay. I mean, you could play X amount of seconds of it. That's why. Uh, if Lisa is this messy, she is that messy. Now, just imagine how many fake stories she planted back in the National Choir days. She had to pay for her lip injections, re-ups. I mean, listen, Lisa has been messy for the longest and they all wanted to say that lvp was corrupt she had relationships with the blog she she put in fake phony stories or called in favors to the blogs and i was always insisted i said no they all do it they all do it not just lisa uh lisa vanderpump but now it looks like 
she was being worse than Lisa Vanderpump. Lisa Vanderpump allegedly clawed in favors for a, a nice story. Here you are picking out a poor target and right. ruining their reputation. Right. It's like the process of elimination, right? If they can make it so bad that Garcelle choose not to come back or the network let her go, then you haven't seen no show fire everybody, right? Right. So if you can get one or two tarnish their reputation, those two gone, and then the four itches still have a job next year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, someone says LVP, bring LVP back. Let me tell you what I think about LVP. I really like Lisa Vanderpump. I think Lisa Vanderpump made a mistake by leaving. She had all the public support, but she was truly dealing with the death of her father and then mm -hmm. months later, her mother. So she was in a dark place where she just didn't want to deal with this. But I think if she would have stayed, she would have seen how the public supported her and then how all the negative attention would have went to th to those three itches. Yep. All right, Perry, I'm going to wrap this up. You got anything else to say? Oh, no, that's good. And hopefully, everybody, uh, we're going to hang out tonight on Perry Sanders' channel. I don't know, East Coast time, 9, 9.30, somewhere up there. We're going to do something. Oh, look at Perry in that little yeah. party. That's a hot ass mess. You guys get crazy over there. Uh, okay, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. It does wonders for my video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section now that I expose the troll farm. Okay, what do you think about it? How low is Lisa Renna? Is Erica as innocent as she's saying? When we've gotten, gotten tips that you are not innocent, Erica Girardi. You are terrible. Also, I want to thank everyone for your super chats. You don't have to support the channel, and you do, so I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Perry, I see you with your hand on that button. No, I'm not <laughs> going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Go ahead, Perry. Bye, guys. Take care. But we can do this for the comments. If y'all can answer this question, why these people get together, <laughs> respond in the comments. Why the fuck you lying? Bye, yeah, you always lying. Lying. Ooh, oh, 